on the day of judgment when man will stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will rebuke certain individuals for not fulfilling the rights of other individuals, other believers. Allah will say to the believer, Ya ibn Adam, maridtu falam tu'idni. I was unwell, you did not visit me. Qala ya Rabb, kayfa a'uduka wa anta Rabbul Alameen. Oh my Lord, how can I visit you when you are the Lord of the world? Qala ama alimta anna abdi fulan maridha falam ta'udhu. So didn't you know so and so individual was unwell and you did not visit him? Ama alimta anna kala uttahu. Did you not know if you had gone and visited that individual, you would have found me by that individual, meaning you would have attained reward, you would have attained my pleasure. This narration indicates to the fact that it is the right of one believer upon the other believer that when that person is unwell, that you visit that person. Then the narration carries on. Ya Ibn Adam, istat'amtuka falan, falam tut'imni. Oh, Ibn Adam, I asked you to feed me and you did not feed me. Qala, Ya Rabb, kayfa ut'imuka wa anta Rabbul Alameen. Oh Allah, how can I feed you when you are the Rabbul Alameen, when you are the sustainer? Allah will say, Qala, ama alimta annahu istat'amaka abdi, that my so-and-so servant asked you, feed me. فَلَمْ تُطْعِمْهُ But you did not feed him. أَمَا عَلِمْتَ أَنَّكَ لَوْ أَتْعَمْتَهُ لَوَجَدْتَ ذَلِكَ إِنْدِي If you had fed him, then you would have found your reward today by me. قَالْ And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, يَا ابْنَ آدَمْ إِسْتَسْقَيْتُكْ فَلَمْ تَسْقِينِي I ask you for water, but you didn't give me water. قَالْ يَا رَبْ كَيْفَ أَسْقِيكْ وَأَنْتَ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ how can I give you water when you are the Lord of the world? Allah will say, Istasqaka abdi falanun falam tasqihi. My so and so servant asked you for water and you did not give him water. Ama inna kalo saqaytahu lawajatta dalika indi. If you had given him water, today you would have seen the reward for that water by me. It is the right of one believer to feed other believers who are hungry. It is the right of a believer to give water to those believers who are thirsty. This is what we understand from this narration. Long gone are those days where a person, a believer is hungry in a particular part of the world and you are unaware of that. Today we see poverty in front of our eyes. We see in the month of Ramadan, that people don't have enough food to open their fast. And they, if they open their fast, they are opening their fast with the same staple diet that they eat every single day of the year. There are many people who only eat, if lucky, meat once a year. This is what people go through. And the Prophet Sallallahu is mentioning in the hadith that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will ask us on the day of judgment. Did you look after the poor? Did you give water? We all know the narration of the woman who gave water to a dog and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala forgave her sins. What about a person who feeds and gives water to believers who are hungry and thirsty?